occipital condyle fractures. Anatomy Occipital condyles are undersurface protuberances of the occipital bone which function in articulation with the superior facets of the atlas vertebra. Here is the undersurface of the occipital bone, the inferior view, where both occipital condyles appear at the anterior part of the foramen magnum. Here, here is the superior surface of atlas, the superior articular facets articulating with the occipital condyles, and here is the uh, odontoid process and axis. Here is another view that shows the craniocervical ligaments in coronal view, tectorial membrane retracted, then the apical ligament appears, alar ligaments are here, and transverse ligament. Epidemiology. In the past, occipital condyle fractures were considered to be extremely rare because of their difficult detection with conventional radiography. This applies also for the craniocervical dislocation. The present incidence is about 0.4% of trauma patients, still rare, and we can see here that Andrew Keely and Richard Parrish in the year 2000 considered the fracture of the occipital condyle as a forgotten part of the neck, and it was only case reports. Diagnosis. There is clinical suspicion, suspicion for occipital condyle fractures if one or more of the following appears. If there is blunt trauma with high energy, craniocervical injuries, altered consciousness, occipital pain or tenderness, impaired cervical movement, lower cranial nerve pulses, retropharyngeal soft tissue swelling. The imaging and classification. CT for bones and MRI for ligaments. The occipital condyle fractures have been classified by Anderson and Montesano into three types, and this is a widely used classification. Type 1, there is comminution of the occipital condyle. Type 2, there is extension of a linear basilar skull fracture. And type 3, there is avulsion of a ligament of a fragment of bone. Here's type 1, comminution of the occipital condyle. Here's type 2, extension of linear fracture to the occiput or skull base. Here's type 3, there is a vulgian of bony fragment. Here's type 1, axial and coronal CT, comminution in place. Here's type 2, axial and sagittal CT, extension of fissure to the skull base. Here's type three, where is detached fragment from the occipital condyle at both sides. Here's occipital condy condyle fracture as it appears in MRI. Actually, if we want to see the ligaments, we have to go more anterior or posterior on coronal view. The treatment, the level 3 evidence is external cervical immobilization 
is recommended for all types of occipital condyle fractures. More rigid external immobilization using halovist should be considered for bilateral occipital condyle fractures. The halovist immobilization for 6 to 8 weeks or occipital cervical immobilization and fusion are recommended for injuries with associated atlanto occipital ligamentous injury or evidence of instability. So, instability or associated indication injuries, indica associated indication for occipital cervical fusion, and the uh, most of the fractures cure with external immobilization. Here is the halo vest as it appears, and here are samples of occipital cervical fusion. And for more details of halo vest application and occipital cervical fusion, please go back to the lecture of occipital cervical dislocation. Thank you very much.